Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Enes Rushman and I'm from Wired Space Engineering Department. Before starting my presentation, I want to ask you a question. Can something be both a science and an art? Well, there is an article in wonderfulness.org titled Is design a science or an art? It was a science in engineering, but it was something that cannot be defined in art. There were some significant differences. And I hope after this presentation, you will be able to see the results of these differences in our daily lives. Today, I will talk about two differences between engineering and art seek design in the automotive industry. And as we can see as my outline, I will first talk about their objectives and secondly, their objectives. So let's start with the objectives. In automotive industry, the needs of the consumer varies a lot. There are so many parameters. As a consumer, we want that, for instance, my car should be working at first, it should be fast, good looking cheap, efficient, comfortable, technology, and so on. But of course, all of them at the same time is not possible. A car can be fast and good looking, but it's not cheap. Another car can be comfortable and efficient, but it's not fast. Engineers are given one or two, and they are just to complete a given task. Support for my argument comes from Professor S. Eder, in his 2012 study titled Engineering Design versus Artistic Design, he describes this task as a product that should fulfill a purpose. The important thing for an engineer is its functioning and operation, and the scale of his operation is limited as possible. What he means by limited is that, for example, if being fast is the case, being the fastest on a particular circuit is the engineering case. It reminds me of motorsports. Now, we will look at this picture in the Look at the car's noses, their wings, and their side parts. They are all alive, aren't they? Because this is the best shape to be the fastest. If you want to compare this approach with artistic design, then we should also consider more needs from the consumer. This point is verified by Dr. Harvey Fisher in his 2016 book named Research Interactive Design, that the goal of the design process has a human at its center, a human and his needs, his wills. This is significant because now impressions and emotions are priority. If the consumer wants more than one thing, okay, it must satisfy them as much as possible. Moreover, it will make them feel that way. If you're building a car like the BMW i8, it should also look like technology. And if it's comfortable as Mazda 3, it should also look like it. And it should be something beautiful, something to pay for. To summarize this objective comparison, engineering design gives priority to functioning while artistic design gives priority to consumer with proper experience. Having investigated the differences with respect to objectives, I will move on to processes. As I mentioned at the beginning of my presentation, engineering design has a scientific background. Now could you please have a look at this flowchart titled Steps of the Engineering Design Process. It was taken from Dr. James W. Bouquet's 2012 article published in the journal Art Education. In engineering, we have strict steps like identify, research, develop, construct, and test. It can be said that we have a linear action because we can only go one way when we are in a step of this process. I want to exemplify this point with one of my works. I'm also a designer in the Formula Racing team and one of the responsibles for the body of the car. And this is our work. We get inputs from the suspension guys, like the front tires will be here and the rear ones are there. Then we decide the driver's position and create a design. Then the engine guys evaluate it. They say if it's okay, we can move on or no, we have to redesign. The same construction as shown here. There is a huge difference in artistic design process. At first, there is no linearity. As you can see, there is a chaos in it. And in the words of Professor Wolfgang Eder in his 2012 article published in the Journal of Engineering Design, artistic design process is dependent on the object to be designed. Although there are not some steps but not exact steps, they are not followed linearly. What he means that it changes the whole understanding of design process, whether you are designing a race car or a family car. For instance, by designing a family car, it should be tested at every step because now the consumer wants extra safety. You have to guarantee the children's life at any or under any circumstances. I know it's not possible either, but 
an artistic designer should adopt his design to this objective at every step, and that makes the process more complex than this one illustrates. In the artistic design process, there is no strict steps, actually. To summarize the differences in processes, engineering design has a strict methodology, whereas engineering design has a flexible and complex methodology. In conclusion, engineering design and artistic design are really different from each other, and we can observe it in the automotive industry. Today, I have explained it with respect to their processes and objectives. I can easily say that these differences have produced so many cars that we call Elegion today. These differences turn this industry into a passion. Thank you very much for your attention. Now, if you have any questions, I will please to answer them. Also, this is my request.